What's going on everybody? Uh, I just made a cool character for a VR chat um, in Google Blocks and I'm going to show you how to do it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your menu, turn on the labs, and you're going to want to show, turn on some of these new things. Particularly, let me see, show world grid space. So you want to turn on the show world space grid planes um, because it's going to make it really easy. What you're going to see is I have a dot up there, which I'm going to put a square. Actually, let me uh, erase that. Let me get a square, put the grid on so that everything is a square. I'm going to put that and bring it all the way down to this one here. And then I have one on this side, and I'm going to bring it all the way to the one I have over here. And you are going to make a T-Pose character here. And so I'll show you the one that I made, which is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. which was made just like this. And he's in a perfect T-pose. And the key thing that you want to remember about uh, VR chat is that you have to do low poly. There's a 20,000 polygon limit. So you don't want to spend a lot of character, a lot of time on a character using a lot of shapes. So this guy is mostly just extruded and painted. Let me show you, like, let's see, let me, let me take him apart. He has this shape. He has a wheel on him. He has a nose. He has ear. He has a head. He has some shapes for the eyes, cigarettes. Um, that. That. Uh, uh. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So, about a dozen shapes here, maybe 15. And that's not a lot. You know, most of him is extruded. You see, I pull out, push in, you know, faces are painted. And the thing about Google Blocks is every surface that you paint allows you to make that a different material uh, in Unity. So the reason he has a black cat in VR Chat is because I went in there and made brown relate to black. And you know, this guy comes together quite nicely. Yeah, that's it. So you want to make it in a T pose because it's easier to import. And the key thing that I've I've noticed about VR Chat is you want to make the arms as simple as possible. You know, this guy basically has the shape, which is his hands. This hand is extruded. You know, these these things are extruded. So I I separated. You know, um, I'll show you how I did it. So basically. I had the shape of his arm. And let me paint it a color that we can see. And then I subdivided it. And then I extruded it. Then I extruded it again. And I'm holding down the trigger on the other hand to make these things come out a little bit straighter. And so everything I did was really just about uh, subdividing. So extrude one finger, two finger, three finger, four fingers. You do want to, you do want to, I found that if you make the hand easy, 
coming from one piece, you can export it to something like Mixamo and rig it quite easily. Um, I've experimented with rigging a more difficult character, and um, it just... <laughs> It's a lot more effort <laughs> um, going into Blender and um, and pulling it off. If you have, you know, um, like for example, I did the Wolverine, and um, and he came out horribly because I decided to use multiple shapes for hands. See, this is all one shape here, and um, you know, this is actually quite easy for Mixamo to um, to work with. You know, so here's an example of the the Wolverine I made. And the problem with this one is that his hand is a different shape. And I get, had all these different shapes instead of sticking with what I knew. Um, I was experimenting. And the animation with all these shapes was just horrible and ugly. And VRChat had a really hard time working with that. Um, so, it's another one I made. Ultimately, didn't work out because this one has too many shapes, too, because I made his coat have a lot of vertices and triangles and you know, he had a lot of extra little details, like keys and, you know, just just all these things. So he's definitely fun to play with, but I wasn't, you know, he's about 7,000 polys too large. And this is another one I made. This one actually was uploadable, and he's fun. And uh, he actually glows in the dark in VR chat because I assigned the materials um, to send off emissions. But this guy is a tequila monster, and he's a bottle of tequila with speakers on his shoulders, and he's just kind of a little fool, and I love it.